Dolly's Kids, and welcome back. It's Miss Dolly. Happy Wednesday. I'm so glad you guys could join me today. We're going to have a blast. We're going to do our Bible verse. We're going to do our song, because you know Miss Dolly loves to worship. And we're going to have Ollie and his friends from the treehouse tell us our story today. So I hope you guys are ready for some amazing fun, because this is our last Wednesday together for In the Sandbox. Well, we've been learning all month long that Jesus wants us to know that he loves us. Remember guys, every time Miss Dolly asks you who loves you, I want you guys to point at yourselves and say, Jesus loves me. Are you guys ready? Let's do it right now. Okay guys, who loves you? That's right, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves us all. I'm so sad it's gonna be our last Wednesday in this thing. But make sure you guys come back on Sunday. We're going to start a whole new theme, and I think you're going to love it. It's super fun. So, guys, let's start off with our Bible verse. Are you guys ready? You guys know how we get ready for our Bible verse. We're going to stretch those arms, wiggle your fingers, and show me your muscles. Here we go. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Great job, guys. Let's do it one more time. Are you guys ready? A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Great job, guys. It's, I know you guys have been practicing. You always do such a great job. I just love it that we can still learn together even though we're not together. Are you guys ready for Miss Dolly's favorite part of us getting together? Yeah, I hope you are. Because you know that I love that we can all worship together even though we're not together. So when I say what time is it, I want you guys to yell nice and loud. It's worship time. Are you guys ready? What time is it? That's right, it's worship time. So get those dancing shoes ready because we're about to worship. Are you guys ready? Let's count it down. Three, two, one. It's worship. Is the will never quit.
Guys, I want you guys to know that no matter where you are, you can worship God anywhere. God loves to hear us praise him and give him worship no matter where we are, because he can always hear us, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I've been enjoying it. Now, we're gonna let Ollie and his friends from the treehouse tell us our story for the week, so I hope you guys are ready. Go ahead and get comfy, and we're gonna let Ollie take it away. So Ollie, take it away. It is it's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy. My friends and I have had so much fun playing in the clubhouse sandbox. I brought some fun new toys for us to play with today. Do you know what this is? It's called a sifter. See, these holes will let the sand through, but not big things. Let's see if there's anything bigger than sand in this bucket. Oh, look at that! There was something bigger than sand in my bucket. There's some seashells, like at the beach. I'm gonna save these to show to my friends later. Do you know what this is? It's called a funnel. You can pour things through it like this. I know, let's see if we can fill the bottle of sand using the funnel. I'll just put it right here. Oh no! Sand is everywhere! It's all over the floor! I've made the biggest mess. Zoe's gonna be so mad at me. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hi there, Poppy. Ho! Ho! Is something the matter with you? Hey, Ollie. I was having so much fun with my sand toys, but then I made a big mess. Zoe loves this sandbox so much, she's gonna be really mad at me. I understand how you feel. It's true. I have the perfect story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman with lots of letters for the neighborhood. But this one is actually from me to my friend Aisha. I dropped some of her cupcakes the other day. So I wrote her an I'm sorry card. I think she'll forgive me because she's always been my friend no matter what. Which reminds me of our story today. Are you ready for it? I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Today's true story from the Bible begins with a special dinner for Jesus. As Jesus and the people were eating and talking, a woman who was not invited walked in, carrying a bottle of perfume. Now, this woman had made a lot of bad choices, so the people at the dinner did not think they would see her there. Look, what is she doing? She's sitting at Jesus' feet and she's crying. She's crying because Jesus had forgiven her for making bad choices. She knows Jesus loves her no matter what. The woman was so thankful Jesus loved her. She wanted to do something special for him. So she started to wash his feet. 
The woman washed Jesus' feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. Then she poured perfume on his feet. The people at the party thought Jesus should stay away from her. You don't know what she's done, they said. But Jesus just smiled because Jesus did know. Jesus knew everything the woman had done and he could see how sorry she was and how much she loved him. So Jesus told her, woman, you are forgiven. Now go in peace. Friends, there is absolutely nothing you could ever do to make Jesus stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The woman was thankful for Jesus, and he showed he loved her too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. The woman poured perfume on Jesus' feet to show him that she was thankful for him. Jesus loved the woman no matter what, and Jesus loves us no matter what, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! And you know what? Jesus loves me even when I make a mess. I'm gonna clean this up and tell my friends that I'm sorry for spilling the sand. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you so much, Ollie. I just love it when you and your friends from the treehouse tell us our story. Remember guys, those stories that Ollie and his friends from the treehouse tell us come right from the Bible. So you know they're true. So you better believe it. So that story was awesome. It, I want to make sure that you guys totally understand what that story was about. So there was a lady who made bad choices and I want you guys to understand what a choice is. For example, if your mom or dad or grandma or your adult tells you to go clean your room and you say, no, I'm not doing it, would that be a good choice or a bad choice? A choice is when you decide to do something, whether it's good or it's bad. So if you get sent to clean your room and you say no, that's not respecting your adults, right? So that's a bad choice. So I'm gonna give you guys examples. If they're good choices, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If they're bad choices, I want you to give me a thumb down, okay? So if you get asked to clean your room, you say no. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's right, that's a bad choice. We gotta respect our elders, right? Whenever our adults tell us to do something, we gotta be respectful, we have to clean our stuff, right? Great job, guys. Let's see, if you have toys and your sister or your brother or one of your cousins wants to play with you and they ask, can they play? And you say, yeah, and you share your toys. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's right, that's a good choice. Cause sharing means you care, right? And that's a nice thing to do. Let's see, what other examples can we think of? If you're helping out around the house to clean up, like say to put away the laundry or help in the kitchen with the dishes. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's right, that's a good choice. It's always nice to help out. So, let's see. How about one more example? Let's say you have two candies and your friend comes over to play and your friend asks you for a candy. But you say, no, they're all mine. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? Yeah, that's a bad choice. You want to share, right? It's always nice to care for others and share what you have. That's what Jesus would do. He would share with others. So I 
help you understand what choices are. There's always going to be an opportunity to do good choices or bad choices. Why don't we always take the good choices, right? And if you don't know which would be a good choice, ask your adult. Or ask me. I'll let you know. <laughs> so guys, I hope that you've had a blast today. I just love the story that Ali and his friends from the Treehouse told us. I especially loved our song. And I love how you guys have that Bible verse down pat. I'm so proud of you. Good choice. So I will see you guys on Sunday. But before I let you go, I want you to remember you are awesome. God created you to do amazing things and you are loved. I can't wait to see you on Sunday. And don't forget, preschool's open again. So if you want to come to church, come on down. I can't wait to see you guys. If not, I will see you on Sunday. See you guys have a great rest of your week, okay? Bye.